What's up, witches? What's up? I'm Linda. And I'm John. And happy belated Beltane. Yes. Part two. Um, well, not really mm, part two. Not really part two. Take two. Take two. Because we did a recording last night on, well, it wasn't on, it was the day after Beltane, uh, the second. Um, right. But still kind of technically, I mean, anyway. And it had nothing to do with Beltane. <laughs> no, it was just like up and coming and that we will be doing a video on Beltane in the next well, it was supposed to be tonight. Yes, but within the next couple days. Um, yeah, um, apparently our hard drive was full. It still said that it was recording. However, it wasn't saving it anywhere because the hard drive was full. Yes. So, what, like a 45 minute? Oh, it was almost an hour. Almost an hour. Yeah. Um, recording of uh, we had a blast it was a lot of fun and i know you're sitting there going okay well i wasn't there so but anyway take two um life has been really busy uh yes. this last week or two actually all the hmm. time now it seems like yeah but um yeah and we kind of not that we necessarily forgot that it was one of the eight sabbaths the eight holy days high holy days of no it just kind of snuck up on me yeah I mean, it showed up a lot yeah. sooner than i expected y yeah well this whole year has been flying by we're gonna have to move soon yeah, and people need to knock it off and we just need let to pack go. and anyway so there were a couple things we wanted to talk about tonight, other than the fact that, you know, we will be posting a video about Beltane and uh, the rituals and customs associated with that Gaelic um, High Holy Festival holiday. Um, but there were a couple other things. Like, uh, well, we did our very first event at the, yes. what was it? The Queen Creek Spring Carnival. I thought you were going to say something else. Never mind. <laughs> Carry on. Yeah. And it, it went okay. I think it went really well. Unfortunately, uh, there were out of 33 vendors that signed up for it. It's free for everybody, including the vendors. Only 10 of us showed up. See, I counted 11, 12. Ten, ten, okay. But, but well, anyway, it, a only third, a third of us showed up. A third of them up. showed up, um, which kind of sucked. But there were also, I mean, there were still 10 people there um, or right. 10 vendors ten there. Vendors. And then I would say probably, I mean, in all reality, uh, at, at least double the number of just people right now I could tell though that many of them were like your sisters that came to visit and they walked were, around they, they were there for a specific person or group or because they yeah, hung right. out there the whole almost right. the whole freaking day other than going around and, and making, making the rounds, rounds and checking um, out what else was there but it was cool couldn't sell anything because it was all free it, it, anything you had you had to give away well, no, it's not even because it was a free event. It's because of the location of the event. It was held at a public park. So, you so, so they probably didn't... They probably got the space or reserved the space as a... Party or something. Non-profit type of thing. Yeah. Um, but we did have quite a few people stop by. They spun our wheel and won prizes. Which you ordered one, right? For the yes, like instead yeah, of the homemade one yes, we used. Yes. It, it it was cool. It worked. The kids loved it. Yes. Um. um and well, a lot of kids what wish powder. Yeah, that was the big winner. That and success. The, well, yes. Between so, like adults and kids. Yes. The two biggest and, were yes. wish powder and, and success. the success essential oil. Blend. Uh, blend, yeah, those were the two huge winners. Right. Um, and I mean, I'm. 
I'm not surprised, especially yeah. the kids, because, I mean, let's, I mean, Santa. Yeah. They still, you know, uh, uh, many of them, I'm sure, because they were, I would say the oldest was maybe 12. Yeah. And then it went down from there. Majority right. were like 10 and under. Right. Or eight-ish and right. under. And the one that really stuck out to me was... Um, the one that spun and won something and didn't want it? No. Well, I mean, he, he kind of sticks out to me, too. But there was one who spun and got a wish powder, and he was like, you know what, I'm going to give this to my sister. Hmm. Yeah. Like, that kind of stuck out to me, because he's like, that would be really good for my sister. Right. And the other one, he... Or was, it was, was a he. Yeah. One, I don't remember what it is that he won, but that was more, I think it was a bath thing. It, it was something more adult-oriented. Mom-oriented. And then he spun it again and got the wish powder, and he was so excited. Yeah. Got super excited to get the wish powder. Um, but anyway, uh, that was really fun. We have um, the next event next Saturday. Yes. The 11th. Yes, at... The Mother Nature's Farm in Gilbert, Arizona. It is the Wildish Mama Market. Which, Wildish Mama Market. Yes. Which, Gotta I mean, love that. considering the fact that it's happening Mother's Day weekend, it's uh, very true. appropriate. True, true, true. Um, and that one we actually do get to sell stuff at, so I have been busy making the products. We got some deodorant. What, what else are we taking? Um, we've got the bath salts. We have... Harmony powder. We're gonna have some more wish powder. Um, we are gonna actually have tinctures nice. this time. Nice. Um, ready to go. Yeah, we have the jars for it. Yes. Jars. Yeah. So. Anyway. Um, and then we're also going. To, yeah, the deodorant, and we're gonna have some bath bombs too. Oh. Both for adults and kids. Cool. So we've got a, a hope good to see you guys stuff. there. Yeah, if uh, you're in the neighborhood, stop by. We'd love to see and meet and greet. We also have the drawing that we still. I mean, we've talked about it almost every yes, day. Yes, the drawing for from the last event. We do with still the need to people that signed up for the the email list. Email yes. list. Yes. I still need to get that email. That it's 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 not a um, what's the word. requirement no uh well yeah that but it's just when we have something going on or oh, yeah. something we're doing it's not like you're gonna be getting no you're you not know, gonna be getting spammed every three, day three four five six emails a month it's, or basi- it's gonna whatever. be basically one maybe two emails a month maybe with updates about upcoming events um, or new products promotions, that type new of product, thing. stuff like that so, yeah. And this drawing is going to be about what again? They get a free... A, and a complimentary initial consultation. And a consultation, by the way, for whatever ailment or issue you're wanting to work on. Yes. Um, with all the questions, it's like a couple of hour type of thing. Yeah. yeah. It's, so if, it's not just, uh, hey, fill this out like you're at the doctor's office. Fill this out and we'll get, you know, we'll call you back in a minute. No. It basically, it's, we sit down for an hour or two and discuss medical history, health and wellness goals, um, everything you're going through right <coughs> now to... What you want to accomplish. Right, what you want to accomplish. And then basically I do a little bit of research and we sit down a few days later. Um, and do the other and, hour or whatever it right. takes. And actually discuss <coughs> some of the recommendations that I come up with to help you achieve those goals that you are wanting to accomplish. I'm so proud of you. Um, so yeah, and then there was also another thing, and I know, at this point I know we're only probably like fifteen fucking minutes into this, and I swear to God it was like forty five minutes last night, um, just because I want to make sure we don't forget anything. Um, I think I had stated in our last uh, Pantheon uh, recording that we were going to do Indigenous, 
Yes. Um, and, and and leaving it like a blanket thing like that because mm-hmm. there's multiple indigenous right. belief systems all over the world, obviously. But um, yeah, all the one. I mean, I'm still gonna do more, but like seriously. M- all of the information I have about various indigenous belief systems was written by the colonizers. Mm. It's 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 not it's not like they found the um, Dead Sea Scrolls in a cave somewhere. Right. You, you know what I mean? Right. Uh, it's it's all well. They believed in this and and that and other creature, you know, entities, whatever. But there's no details there's no there's nothing written it's still right handed down orally shush well and depending on which specific area you are looking at some of those people still are do do, do it yes passing it down orally yes i mean the indigenous don't have a written the aboriginals in australia that's a prime example as are the indigenous of the u.s i mean i have a really good friend um that works at my place of employment and she's indigenous and she's catholic Mm. her family is catholic like and i even asked her on columbus day i said or was it columbus day or thanksgiving it was thanksgiving i said do you guys celebrate? Because I almost said Happy Thanksgiving, right. knowing the history of fucking Thanksgiving, right. and really the the real history. Yes. And she's like, "Well, yeah, because it's good freaking food." <laughs> <laughs> um, that's what I grew up with, and yeah, we celebrate Thanksgiving. But there, I know there are many that do not, right. and find it offensive right. to say happy columbus day or happy thanksgiving right yeah, but anyway because columbus was a murderer and a rapist but and apparently he never stopped to ask for directions N- no he didn't stop to ask for directions he just happened to have an almanac almanac and knew that there was going to be an eclipse one of the things he did and when they wouldn't the indigenous wouldn't give him food he used the knowledge of the eclipse to trick them if you don't give give us any supplies i'm gonna blot out the sun and it happened and they freaked out they gave him whatever the fuck he wanted Mm. anyway yeah i have my own i support the indigenous uh 100 anyway um so that video i like i said i'm gonna still i'm still doing research on it but Other than, there's a lot of pictures of cave drawings. There's a lot of stories of, like, in the southwest, um, a tribe, I don't know if it was, Na- I think it was Navajo, but there was a, a race of giant redheads that they tr- they battled against for generations and trapped them in a cave and started a fire and burned them out. S- started a fire at the mouth of the cave. Mm-hmm. And burned. I mean, there's there's stories like that, and then of course the cave drawings, or rock cliff drawings. Lots of that. I mean, lots of info about that, but nothing definitive. Right. And it's almost like we'd have to actually talk to a shaman. That's still. And I don't know any of those, but mm. still gonna research. My point is, is it may not be about the indigenous. Right. Um, we may go straight into the next one. Which would be, we did Egyptian. We did the Egyptian. Um, Not Hindu. No, that would be. Um, the. That's going to take a lot of research. I think the other one was the Japanese. Ah. Like the Asian. Yes. Pantheon. Right. Which. Well, definitely the Chinese because yes. the Yellow Emperor and the right. and, yeah. and the dragon and yeah, yeah. all that. Um, yeah, I think that was supposed to come after the indigenous, but I mean, if we can't find anything or... I mean, it's all oral. Right, but I mean, 
and that's kind of and as much as I'd like to make a joke about that I, I'm not trying to be disrespect I mean that is yes. it, 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 it's just not a whole lot of info out there unless you're part of that group and obviously with my pale ass skin I am not that doesn't mean anything I've have not you done seen the DNA my, have you seen my cousin Isaac blonde hair blue eyes I don't think so you've met him you met him at my dad's I'm, funeral well I remember meeting the one that was a corrections officer and the other one that was a felon yeah well, the one that was well the one that was the cop that's Isaac he didn't have blonde hair he well when he growing up he had blonde hair ah okay gotcha but yeah that was interesting too by the way I mean let's be <laughs> freaking real meeting her family for the very first time and it wasn't a happy event no um, and meet one of her well two of her favorite cousins who happen to be brothers who happen to be brothers <laughs> one's a freaking cop the other's a freaking felon <laughs> And, well, I don't, I don't and know I, he's I, necessarily a felon, but he spent it, time in police custody. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I kind of got the feeling that that's... Anyway, that was interesting. That, that was quite funny. And I'm glad there was beer there. Because mm. <laughs> I... Yeah, that was a weird... Well, and... Because I, mean, I forget, well, the conversation was about, I don't, I don't, now I don't remember exactly what the conversation was about, but dude just threw it out like it was not, because I, I think I asked the one that had been arrested, Right. are you in law enforcement? Because your sisters are and were. Right. And I'm like, are you in law enforcement too? And, and he laughed. And both were, and yeah. Yeah. He laughed and he said, no, but I've been in their custody. And then your other cousin said, well, yeah, I am. I'm like, <laughs> what kind of family reunion was that? Like, when he got really, I mean, it just, it just, there's all kinds of jokes that could be played. Did, did he have to arrest him? Oh, probably not. No, probably not. I'm just saying, like, at the moment, there was, I'm rambling. Don't mind me. Well, because if I recall correctly, yeah, so the one who has been in police custody is older than the one who was police. Ah, so he could still use his older brother as his um, mentor or encouragement to do what he did instead of going down one thing. Taylor used that shit on me. Anyway, anyway, I'm, I'm rambling again. Sorry, guys. Um, there was something we talked about with the... Oh, well, is the whole apology for not doing a Beltane recording on time. Because, you yes. know, we work at a big box store. Um, yes. And, you know, I don't have to say this, really. But life is fucking difficult right now with being able to pay bills and buy food. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I mean, we haven't done this in a while, but using um, bone in ribeye mm -hmm. as an example, like 10 to $13 per. Now it's like 25 The fuck? I mean, eggs have balanced out a little bit. They got right. crazy there for a while. Yeah. During the it was like toilet paper during the pandemic. Like, what well, the fuck was that all about? Well, begin because with? if I remember correctly, there was some sort of um, oh, virus. Oh, the that bird was, flu. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah, was yeah. taking out the chickens. Yeah, I think that was bullshit. They just called the but they found one that was sick and called the whole fucking lot of them. Um. But yeah, that's something that like my customers and I. Like, it'll come up at least a couple times a day that it seems like it happened overnight. Be, like Pretty one, much. One week, and I always tell them, like, <laughs> there was one week we went grocery shopping, and it was $150. And then, like, two weeks later, we went grocery shopping. 
bought the same stuff. It was 333 And it was like 350 shit. Right. <laughs> and it's like, wait, how did that happen? Yeah. Yeah, um, $120 is four bads, five bads. Yeah. And not even like packed tightly. No. Bads. No. Um, but yeah, anyway. We wanted to do this recording just to um, uh, keep you guys uh, abreast of the situation. No pun intended. Stop it. I didn't say anything. You gave me that side eye. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, and we want to say we appreciate you guys. We love you. Yes. Um, hope your um, summer season, because that's what Beltane is bas- basically celebrating is the beginning or the first of summer um oh what we talked about the new family member yes misty so so you guys know if you watched the very first or one of the first um we hour, lost our cat midnight our our kitty midnight passed uh, um, was sick and we had to we had to let her go on April 3rd, we brought home a new family member. She is not new to our family. She actually was she's my mom. She's new to him. Um, but she was my mom and dad's cat. And one of my sisters was taking care of her ever since mom and dad passed. Over a year now, right? Two uh, years. It's been two years, yeah. A little bit over two years. And it got to be a bit too much for her, which is understandable. I mean, especially if you're not really an animal person, right? Or if and I, I'm not saying that she—I don't really know her that well. But if you've not had, yeah, if pets. you're if you've not had pets, or if you're at that point in your life where you are just ready to not have another living being rely dependent, on you, dependent on you, yes. Um, it can be a bit much and that's the stage that my sister is in is that she's ready to not have any other living creatures depend on her Um, she's ready to be an empty nester but she took on the care of this cat and after two years it got to be a little bit too much for her she was going to have her rehomed to a shelter um, to a shelter that specializes in senior cats um we decided to take her in yeah um yeah i mean i know how vicious cats can be well dogs too but um cats like to use their claws as well as their teeth as opposed to dogs but um yeah, she's part of the family, and, and when you told me that, I was like, um, even even a no kill shelter, right, has a time limit. Has a time limit, and at that point, they will send the animal to another shelter. They'll have a certain amount of time there, and then they will be euthanized. And that is something that I have found to be every one that I've researched to be a documented fact um, they're not going to keep an animal forever there are a couple right. that do but we're talking about three throughout the United States right. um, but anyway so I didn't want that to happen to a member of the family and I said well why don't we just take her right. and you and what was that look you gave me <laughs> you were like because are you I, sure well because I had thought about offering to take her but I wasn't sure how you would feel about it and then so when I told you about it and you're like we're taking her you didn't even say why don't we take her you're like we're taking her (laughs) it was like are you sure about that and you're like yes and you told me to call my sister and your words exactly were don't even ask her how she feels about it just tell her we're taking her Yes, I do recall saying something of that nature. And so when I called her, and I, was, and I went against his advice, and I said, how would you feel about us taking her? And he looks at me like, Woman, what did I tell you? But my sister basically said, like she heaved this huge sigh of relief. And she was like, yes, thank you. Because I was wondering about that. I wanted to mention it, but wasn't sure how you would feel about it. 
And then when I mentioned it to our other sister, she was like, yes, thank you, because I was trying to figure out a way to make it work, and I couldn't. There she is. There's our pretty girl. This hey, Misty. Up. Up. Come here, Come baby. Here. Come here, baby girl. Come here. Come here. Right now, the whole world's watching, going, what the fuck? <laughs> Let me see the cat. Oh, shut the fuck up. Come here, Come here baby. Come here, baby. Psst, psst. You want to go to him? Well, if I get up to pick her up, she's going to run. You, she knows you more than me. Huh? Well, we could always do this. Don't trap her. Don't make her feel scared. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Let's go. Get him. Misty. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. I just want to introduce you to the This world. is Misty. This is Misty. The first night was fucking terror. <laughs> okay, okay. She does she's camera shy. She doesn't like being on the camera. Um yeah, uh, we brought her in, and, and, well, I was at work when she picked her up, and she put her in our room, because the other room, the the one spare room, it wasn't ready, it had a bunch of eBay shit in it, because we sell stuff on eBay, uh, so she needed to get it ready, so she put her in our room, and then when we went to get her, we had to fucking lift the bed we up. We had to lift the bed up. She darted into our bathroom. And clawed you up, and then I made her put on a leather jacket and fucking the kitchen mitts. The thickest oven mitts we have. Yes, the oven mitts. Thank you. <laughs> um, and g thank goodness you had them because yes. she was fucking you up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit in the bathtub, the poor thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was so. She was not no. happy, but it. Um, it's only taken, I mean, it's taken about a month, but... She comes to us now and begs for food. Like, she's taken uh, some chicken from me, like chicken that Out of baked, our hand? <laughs> baked chicken, uh, like yeah. shreds of, of chicken breast. Mm. Um, takes food from that fucker. Yep. Because he eats hers. And then she'll go up on the perch. They've had a couple... The couple incidents. Couple One time when he was already up there and she jumped up and it was like... Bleh! And then one time she was already up there and he jumped and it was like, Bleh! it was, yeah. I wish I would have seen them, but based on your description of them, that's a pretty accurate example of what happened, right? Yeah. Uh, but this is our new family member. You can barely, you, you can, can barely see her. Barely. Oh, oh. Okay. She's, she's like, okay, I'm done. She's like, okay, I'm done. Go up here. Go up here. Go. There you go. She's like, fuck you, I'm going on the... Anyway, um, I think that almost wraps up everything we had talked about, even though it was much funnier and more Lively. natural yes. before, because oh. it was literally off the cuff, where now we're trying to think of everything we went over. Yes, there was <coughs> one other thing we did discuss, and it was at the end of the episode, or the end of the recording. The We have a contest, a sweepstakes going on right now on our Instagram page. Oh, yes. Um, that was the very last thing. Yes. There are three different prizes that can be won. Yeah, there's more. <laughs> um, so, second prize is a chakra stone set with a storage pouch. Cool. Um, first prize is a mini witch kit, which is... Incons that's the altar kit? Yeah, that's the altar kit, okay. which is inconspicuously hid inside an old first aid kit. And then it has everything you need in it. Yes. Um, to create magic on the go. And then the grand prize is a roller bottle set that is specifically for the chakras. So there's... Oh, yes. Um... With how to use them, right? Because like the root chakra, the, the the application place for the oil for it is like at the lower at, back or right. at the, the bottom of the ankle or some shit like that. I don't remember exactly where we made them for our, well, not the set that you're getting, but we made a set for ourselves. Right. And yeah, I haven't really 
because you don't put like you don't place the oil like the root you don't is put it anywhere your spine where you're right but you don't put it no where on an image like a picture of the different chakras it right. shows where they're at no, the heart chakra is not at the heart where you place the oil it no. was someplace else well no it would be somewhere else but you know what I mean. you, yeah, you, okay, I, anyway yeah so there'll be instructions for um where to place the oils how to use them right. when to use them and what those that specific roller if it's the heart or third eye or whatever or throat uh chakra because there's different right things there's seven that different ones it could apply to right um it's going to be one that is for the highest i would imagine be the the not highest plane but i don't know how do you how where are we going to create those because there's one if you want to do this there's one if you want to do that and there's one and i don't remember what the the three different options were one was for like money one was for peace. Um, Do you not recall so, that? I don't recall that. Okay. Um, but each of the chakras, so the point of the chakra roller bottles is to basically have them be balanced and open. Yes, but each each recipe that there were not for money that was a mis misnomer that was a misstatement. Um, but if you wanted to um, reach a higher level of of consciousness or um, get in touch with your inner child, get I mean there were like things like that. They were spiritually based, but they were three different. And that is something that I will go over with whoever wins that particular one. Oh, so it's going to be a personalized yes. mix. Yes. Oh. But okay, see, I did. Yeah, that's something that I'm going to go over with them, like, whoever actually wins that particular. Like we did when we met. When, when we, we made, made ours, the, you, yes. You asked, okay, do you want this oil, this oil, or this oil? Do you want this, this, and this? Right. Or this, this, and this? And first, that's what this one does. That's yes. what this one does. Because for oh, okay. each I thought it was going to be a generic no. kind of Well, because for one thing, I need to make sure that there's thing. like no, aller no allergies no need allergies to be taken associated. into consideration. I mean, they are such oils. They are made derived from plants. Yes. And if, you have, if you're allergic to the plant, you're going to be allergic to the essential oil. Right. So that needs to be taken into consideration. Um, but also, I think... It's beneficial to the person using it if they... They're part of it. Yes. The creation. Yes. So cool. if, if I give them, hey, you can have either this, this, or this for this particular one, and they choose which one they want, then that's going to benefit them a little bit more than if I just choose one for them. Well, a lot more. Likely. You know? A lot more. Um, so, yeah, that was something that I was just planning on going over with oh, them okay. once All they... right. I will shut up then. But it's it's an awesome grand prize. It is. It, it really is. Um, and when are we doing that drawing? That drawing is going to be on May 15th. So, from, so after the event that we were doing this coming Saturday. Yes, because the... Or the next, next yeah, Saturday. Yeah, next Saturday. <coughs> the um, entries for the sweepstakes are open until 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time on Monday, May 13th. And then, basically, we go over it, see how many entries we have. So we're all obviously going to be pushing this at the event. On the 11th. It's a Instagram contest. Yes. So, right? But that's so. for the podcast, not the business. Why you, you got this. <laughs> That's why I handle everything. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so 
really all you need to do in order to enter is find the post where it lists the rules like that post um comment something and then you yeah you comment. just not make sure that you're actually following the getting witchy instagram page and then comment on that post what something your, appropriate what your favorite either your favorite getting witchy episode or your favorite moment in one of our episodes so ah. like if there's something so probably not me sticking my tongue out at the very end or that one where i i don't know why but i flipped did, was that at the beginning or the end? That was at the end. Yeah. yeah. But, like, if there was a specific comment that was made or a specific topic we or were discussing. Or something that resonated with you. Something that resonated with you that was your favorite out of the entire time we've been podcasting. Either that or whatever episode was your favorite. That's basically how you enter... And then we take all of the entries. And actually write them on a piece of paper. Yep. And then we'll draw it on the 15th. And we'll attempt to notify the winner on the 15th. And then we basically have like five days. If they don't respond to us within five days, then we pick a new winner. Okay. So. So there you go. Um, just want to say we love you. We appreciate you. And yes. thanks for watching. And we will see you tomorrow night when we do the Beltane. Yeah. Just, I'm so sorry we missed Beltane. We've had stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we both work full time. I. Trying to do this. We're trying to do this. We're trying to start to get a business up and going. Moving soon. Moving soon. Dealing I, with a teenager. Yes, who doesn't clean his room. I have an internship and a part-time housekeeping job. So, yeah, we're busy. Yeah. Life gets in the way sometimes. It does. It does indeed. But we wanted to touch base and, and at least put something out. Um, so, you don't think we disappeared or fell off the, drop, the uh, face of the earth. No. Um, but one love. Have a great night, y'all. Peace out, witches. Peace.